Uh, Burgers and Dumplings lead restaurant openings in the greater Seattle area. And I think this is good news. So there's a lot of more restaurants opening up. I think it just goes to show you got a lot of money coming in the area. Yep. People want to spend it. What do they want to spend it on, Spike? Everybody eats. Everybody <laughs> eats every day, sometimes more than once. Sometimes, like, uh, you know, if you're going to get into mattresses and food. <laughs> People always need mattresses. People always need food. Yeah, and if you're like Spike, you're eating about baker's dozen time of day, right? At least. At least. Small meals. <laughs> you know, anything, anything designed for one person qualifies as a small meal to me. <laughs> so, I've been trying to find a good burger place, and I'm really hurting right now. I, I really want to find a place that's up to my standards, because I have very discerning taste when it comes to a All good right, burger. Good. As I was telling Spike, the, the curse of any burger place is that it can be a delicious burger, but does it have the ability to hold up or does it lose its integrity? Because uh, what will often happen with burgers is you get through about a third of it and then it starts falling apart. It starts getting kind of impossible. It's like an old book from the 1800s. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you yeah. take it out of the light, all the pages are falling out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because uh, people want to impress you with their burger. How much stuff can I stack on top right. of a meat patty? Exactly. To make it unique and, and uh, great taste combinations. I get it. Right. But if you bite into this thing and half it runs for its life out the back of your sandwich. <laughs> You know, I mean, how do you supposed to hold? You're holding it together with two hands, like a Viet, like your buddy in Nam right. got his gut shot out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't forage. Right. I can't. Oh, Bubba. Right. Exactly. You know, I don't want to eat that burger. I want something that's not good. That's going to stay there until I want to finish the. I want to. I want to, I want to finish the last bite. As as easily and deliciously and and cleanly as I did the first. <laughs> That's why I can't eat bubblegum shrimp. I just can't get to visualize I want to go home, Forrest. I want to go for burgers, Bubba. Bo- I want to go home. Oh, Bubba. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. I'm just saying, man, every burger I get is just, it just, for whatever reason, these people make these burgers that just explode. So, yeah, they're trying to show off. And I just go, give me something that's going to maintain its burger integrity over the duration. Yeah. And so, I don't know, Andrew, do you, are you picking up what I'm putting down here when it comes to the integrity of a burger? You're 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 looking. You're watching YouTube videos right now. What are you no, doing? I'm not. He's I'm looking not. for burger joints. He's what? trying to help you out. Uh, yeah, burgers got to be. If it's all slippery and sloppy, then you got to serve it with a knife and fork. Oh yes. Point. Okay. And then here's the other thing. You it, will never be elected, by the way, to a public <laughs> office eating a burger with a knife and fork. Well, I know Don't you're not supposed mistake. to, no, but I, if, no, if I a hear, burger's going to fall apart, then i got to have something to eat it with the, besides my fingies. The Seattle Times has a picture of exactly the kind of burger that I don't want on their website, which is it looks delicious. I would consume it, but I know just by looking at it that I'm going to get through about 20% of that thing before yeah, it turns into it's a, a nuclear disaster. Yes, it's all over the plate. Right. It's, yeah. So it for me, there's no there's no reason to to purchase that thing because I don't want to eat like a death row inmate with my hands. I want to eat like an adult. <laughs> I'm not a baby. I want to. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. Because there's there's a, there's a cross. I mean, there, there's a, a a mix. There's somewhere in the middle. Is what I'm trying to say. Yes. Yeah. Yes. There's right. there's a meeting of the mess where one thing just explodes in your hand and the other thing comes in a paper wrapper and you can eat it while you drive and steal That's your what meat. I need. That's what I need. Yeah. Uh, Chris, is, do we have any recommendations from people? Is anybody telling me where where's, I should, where's a good burger in this where's town? A, where's a good uh, one? Let's see. They're, they're, I haven't heard of a lot of them. One's in Lacey. One's way outside of town. Try Pick Quick Burgers in Fife, and there's one in Soto, too. Okay. That one's pretty okay. good. Pick that, Quick is in Soto? It's close to where you're, you That's kind of like uh, In-N-Out style. I like those the Smash Burger style, the really, like, small meat. I, I think it's so yeah. gross when Hold it's, it like, one, yeah, half you, pound of meat. No. Yeah. I want to. If you can't eat it at the wheel, Jack doesn't want to look at it. And right. it's not, you're not going to eat while you're driving. That's not what I'm saying. No, but that, no, no, no. But that's no. the fall apart thing you don't want to take on. A Pickwick place is good. I don't I don't want something that shames me for eating it is my whole thing. And when you're eating a burger that's falling apart, yeah. you're reminded of the shameful activity that you're engaging Lots in. Lots of people are saying Red Mill, too, which Spike oh, mentioned in the Red Mill is, you know, I know that Dick's is an iconic Seattle brand. Uh, everything outside of Dick's is what I'm yeah. talking about here. Uh, Red Mill has, they've just got a couple locations, Finney and I believe uh, Inner Bay. Okay. Um, old school, if you like bacon, peppered oh, yeah. bacon, peppered bacon oh, on their, okay. oh my goodness, Red Mill. I know what I'm doing. Great shakes. I, mean, I know you're not a shake guy. They might make a kale shake for you, though. <laughs> they, might be, they might throw some kale into some yogurt for you.